Today we're headed out on the Wire Rim Trail. Should be about a seven mile loop and we have some tired legs, so that should be pretty good for us. Check this out though, this view that we've got from our campsite. So out there somewhere is Zion National Park, which if you've been there before, then you understand how cool that is. But if you haven't, you should definitely check out Zion National Park at some point. If you can get in, the place just keeps getting busier and busier. We're gonna go ride now, let's do this. This trail was recommended to us from the employee in the bike shop, the over the edge bike shop down Hurricane as his second most recommended trail. And it sounds like, well, it already looks like there's gonna be some amazing views on this one. Said it's not too super hard, but really cool seven mile loop. He said to actually do this one on a day that you want a little less intensity. So we're gonna give it a go since we did 20 some miles yesterday. And today we've already done a pretty good leg workout. Yeah, I took the line on the left. And you just put it in the low gear and just ride it. Oh, I should also mention that I took the time yesterday to go through and retorque all of the spots on our bike that might get loose from riding on the back of a car or a van in our case. Something that I always recommend you maybe even do on an interval or after a long drive because I found several things that were pretty loose, including that little cap that sits on the end of my or the cap that sits at the pivot point of my forks that allows the SRAM fork to pop out easily when you need to take them off. That thing damn near fell off in my hand today when I was going to tighten it. That would have not been the end of the world, but just said I'd have to go buy a new one if I want to take that fork off. Otherwise your forks are just super hard to get off. Watch out for that one. It's one of those spots where if you're going too slow, you might endo or too fast and you push into it too much. Keep the weight back or pop your wheel up over that little biting part.
super nice views. Before this ride I had a Garden of Life meal protein shake with a couple scoops of the UCAN energy carbohydrates. And I'd say I'm feeling pretty good. This hasn't been a super hard ride by any means, but energy levels are doing all right. Whoa, keep going. <laughs> well, that was a rattlesnake. Heard it rattling. <laughs> Woo! I saw it right at the last second. It's interesting how rattlesnakes rattle so different, meaning that they sound just so different. Emily seems to be attracted to rattlesnakes. She tends to find them all over the place including when we went on the Grand Canyon rafting trip a couple years ago, she actually jumped onto one, landed right on top of it, coiled up, and it didn't strike, thank goodness. But that was a heck of a encounter. Oh, that was fun. A little more technical than we've had so far. Once you get some confidence on things like that, it becomes so much easier to tackle them and see new lines. It's really fun.
Oh yeah, bringing it home. Whew. Today was really fun. It was a good challenge. I successfully tackled a lot of the medium uphill technical stuff and failed a couple of the big ones, but it was great practice. Yeah, it was good practice. It was a fun trail for sure. Some good stuff to practice on that was pretty technical, not too technical, and it didn't really beat you up, so it was great for like a second day or third day in a row ride. Yeah, it was good. And the views, I mean, you cannot get better Ooh, views than really this ride. You really can't get better views than this ride. So good. Sorry, my mic just died just now as we finished, so. Hopefully you're not getting too much of the wind on here. I will put the trail information down in the description from Trail Forks. So if you want to check out the actual route that we rode, which is it's pretty a simple a loop. And uh, we also put some other stuff about the gear that we use and whatnot in the links down in the description. So if you're interested in that stuff and click through it, it definitely helps out our channel. So we appreciate it. Last but not least, thanks for watching this video to the end. If you did watch this video to the end, put down in the comments what animal we saw on the trail, and I will give you a shout out for the first person that lets us know in the comments what animal we saw on the trail <laughs> uh, on our next video. So go ahead and put that down in the comments and anything that you want us to shout out, we'll do that. All right guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure and like and follow, and we will see you on the next video. Have a fantastic day rest of your day. Thanks for watching. <laughs>